Dead dead. Huh? What you tearing up? Yeah? Yeah, we are at the TA in Franklin, Tennessee. The Expo. Yeah, we uh, got loaded in Albertville. Only got 37,000 pounds in the box, so we're not going to weigh it. Uh, still having some trouble with the truck. A little concerned about it. Hoping we can make it till Friday. What do you think about a truck stop walk? It'd be a little because this is a small truck stop. But, uh, yeah, we can do a little truck stop walk. Break out the old secret camera. Walk around. Do a little quick truck stop walk. And, uh, a little short video to upload, maybe. Man, I gotta get my hair cut. Look how it just sticks out on both sides, man. There ain't nothing you can do about curly hair when it sticks out. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll probably do that, maybe. Duck man's over there taking care of business. So we'll leave him alone. Let him finish up. Still having trouble with that damn ABS light. It comes on, stays on forever. You get ready to go inside the shop to get them to look at it, it won't come on. It's off. <laughs> That's the way it works, ain't it? But I got the paperwork from where we had it fixed, so hopefully everything will be all right. Somebody leaving? I hear an engine going. Go get them, that that. So here it comes, Dad. Yeah, was that a good one? Everything all right? No issues? No problems? All right. You ready to go back to the truck? Thanks. Somebody over there banging around. All right, we're going to head back to the truck, get out our camera, maybe do a quick little truck stop walk before it gets too dark. Sound like fun? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, we'll do it. All right. We'll talk to y'all a little while. Don't go to work. What's that, 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 huh? So, dad, the grass is wet. The grass is wet, dad. What the hell? Don't you go back over on that pavement. You stay over here. Where you at? Taking care of that tree again? Okay. That's going to be the most watered tree out here, ain't it? Yeah. Uh -uh. Stay over here on this grass. Come on. You got all that grass back yonder. Go play. Stay away from big trucks. Get run over. Well, well, well. I don't know if you can tell, but if you look over the top of the truck, you can see a little bit of blue. Yeah, starting to get daylight. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we're here at the Loves and man, I want to say it's. Madisonville or something like that, Kentucky. Uh, so there's a fuel island over there. Yeah, we uh, we left out of Nashville this morning, Franklin down there, and it was uh, raining, so the duck man couldn't get out and do no, take care of no business. So uh, we just hung it in the wind and got on up here, got through Nashville, no issues there, and uh, got on up here. We're just going to do a quick little 30-minute break. Let him take care of his business. I'll take care of my business. And uh, then we don't have to worry about being in a big rush because our appointment isn't until 12.30 Eastern, 1.30 Central. Uh, and right now it's only maybe 7.30 uh, Eastern time, 6.30 Central. So we still got six hours to get there. We're only less than 200 miles away. So we got plenty of time to get there. We ain't got to be in no big rush. He loves the pavement more than he does the grass. Look at him. He's out there sniffing the daggum pavement. Dad, Dad. Ducky. 
Ducky duck. All right, Dad, I'm getting back on the grass. <laughs> Whew. Hey, guess what? Look at that. Long sleeves. Yeah, look what else we got going on down there. Oh, oh, yeah. Long britches. <laughs> That's because it's cold. Well, it is for me. I'm from Florida. You Yankees is used to that snow and the cold weather. It probably don't bother y'all. You probably be out here in shorts and a t-shirt. Us, us, us Florida boys, we, we don't do good with the cold. <laughs> so anyway, just thought I'd shoot a short clip while we were here, uh, taking a 30 minute break. And uh, then we're gonna shoot on up to uh, Danville, Illinois. And uh, get up there. We're not too far from Champaign, Illinois, from Danville. I think it's like maybe 35 miles, something like that. So I don't know. I don't know. If, I gotta. I gotta map it out. I. Forget, I don't know where Lincoln is. For some reason, I, I should have done mapped it out by now. But anyway, I'll figure out where we gotta go and uh, see how far it is. I want to say the Deadhead to get over to where we're picking up at Thursday morning is only. Uh, it's less than a hundred miles. So uh, we'll spend the night there. Get us a really good night's sleep. Get loaded first thing. I hope Thursday morning, and be delivering in uh, Lake Park by noon Friday. I hope that's the goal. That is the goal. So we can be home early Friday and uh, get Teresa ready to go. She's got to go out of town on business. And she's leaving out Saturday morning. So I get home just in time to see my baby before she has to leave. So anyway, y'all hang around. Don't go nowhere. We, uh, we're going to go uh, up. What is it, Dad? Did you take care of business? Yeah, it went way, all the way back around there and around. He got him a good little run in. Keeps going back to that tree over there, though. Huh. We'll have to check that out. What's going on with that tree over there, Doug? Stay out the pavement. Come on. Oh, yeah. Doug, man. Go get it, Doug. Yeah. Going again, Dad. Here I go. Ah, we are in the zone. We are in the zone. Coming, coming at you, Dad. Coming at you. Here I come, woman. Yeah, we are in the zone. Check out the lake, the pond. Yeah. Yep, we are bobtailing. <laughs> we had to drop the trailer in the door. Yeah. So uh, we were here letting the duck man take care of business. Anybody know where we're at? We are in the zone. Auto zone. Yeah. Yep, we are in the zone. Auto zone. <laughs> Woo, man. Oh, man, that's a nice looking trailer. Check this out. Brand spanking new, man. Look at this. You could eat off of that. It's so clean. Look how clean that is. And the walls. That's nice. That looks like the kind of trailer I want to buy. How about you, Antony? You want one too, Antony? I get you one, Antony. You want it? <laughs> they got them on sale here at AutoZone. Buy one, get one free. Oh, they're pulling out on us. Say, see you later. <laughs> Ooh, boy needs a shave, man. Ooh, bad. We uh got us an air leak. God gum it. Uh, we sitting down at the guard shack on the other side of my truck, right there. It's the guard shack. And we were sitting down there and um, we were there for well, the truck was running. I only had the truck switched off for about 30 minutes. During that time, all the air leaked out. That ain't good. <laughs> uh-uh, that ain't good. So we get done here. We're going to shoot over, try to find us a, a TA. I want to say there's one somewhere close to Springfield or Bloomington, somewhere over in that way. Anyway, we're going to go over there, find us a TA. 
See if we can't get that air leak fixed. Got to get it done today, tonight, because we're picking up first thing in the morning in Lincoln, and then we're boogity, 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 boogity back to Georgia. So that's the deal. Anyway, I uh, just thought I'd go ahead and touch base with y'all, let you know we made it here to the receiver, and uh, we're getting unloaded. Uh, and then we're going to head on over yonder, see if we can't get uh get picked up at the other place tomorrow morning and uh head back to georgia man i tell you i don't like this cold weather you can see man we got long sleeves check it out we got the long britches <laughs> yeah this ain't me man i'm i'm shorts and t-shirts kind of guy uh, and you see our boy right there Oh, never mind. Don't look. He's taking care of business. So, anyway, we're going to go ahead and call this a day. Be done with it. Oh, quick side note. I uh, got a letter in the, out from the IRS said I owe the money. Oh, here he's coming. He's charging. He's charging. He's charging. Shoom. So I almost got you, Dad. Yeah, I almost got you. Yeah. And uh, anyway, I got a letter from the IRS that I owed them another five hundred and fifty dollars. Some I already paid you over five hundred and fifty dollars this year, and I haven't even driven the truck. But for since January of this year, I haven't even been driving for a year yet with this truck, and I owe you another five hundred and fifty bucks. Come on, man! Twenty-two ninety heavy highway tax thing. Ah, <sighs> so yesterday I was on hold for over two hours. I finally connects me and I get a recording. Uh, <laughs> due to technical difficulties, we can't take your call. Call back later, click. <laughs> so I call today, I'm on hold for 45 minutes. I hit a dead zone, call drop. Had to call back again. This time I'm up over two hours. When I got up here, I get out of the truck with my paperwork, I swear to God. All this time, they, they didn't pick up. I walk inside the door to give the guard, the guard shack, the uh, paperwork. They pick up. They go, this is agent so-and-so with the IRS, my agent number, da-da-da. I'm like, son of a... I told the guard, I said, look, look at my phone. <laughs> I've been on hold for over two hours waiting on the IRS trying to get a hold of somebody. And now they pick up as soon as I walk in the door. And she goes, go ahead, take your call. Go, you know, it's important. You got to get it done. <laughs> she was real understanding. So I was glad. And... Um, so get back out there. Oh, they posted that pay those payments to 2018. I wasn't even driving in 2018. Not my own truck anyway. Oh God. I swear, man. <laughs> the IRS. Lord help us. <laughs> Woo. Mm. They'll get you mad as heck, won't they? Oh, so anyway, we got all that done, taken care of. So we're good now. So Yay. <laughs> We're good through 2020. All right. Well, to the middle of 2020. I think we don't have to make any more payments till June or July of next year. So We're good. So anyway, happy note. Yay. <laughs> so uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and end the video here. Don't forget our motto. Oh, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting. Love your comments. Let me know your most horrifying IRS story. I'd love to hear it. All right. So anyway, thank y'all. And don't forget our motto if you're an owner operator don't haul no cheap freight right now there's a lot of cheap freight out there so just pick the least cheapest no the least is not cheapest <laughs> the one that's paying the best there you go all right so y'all have a great one and we'll be talking at y'all pretty soon so y'all take care talk to you later peace